if this isn't the cutest cap ever. Love that it says Ralph's. My son's name is Raphael, so we call him Ralph sometimes, Ralphie. And I just feel like I'm representing, I'm obsessed. I got this as a gift. Um, I have never been to the coffee shop actually in the city, which is on my agenda to do for the past six months. But um, yeah, I love it. I think it's the cutest thing ever. For today, we're gonna be heading to Sephora to check out all of the brand new items that they have in store. Of course, you can get these products online as well, but I feel like when you're in the store, there's more like a vibe. There's so much to choose from usually. Um, there's just everything, just, like, but just different colors, different textures, different, just so many different products that just like, Honestly, I feel like it gets all of us so excited. So I'm very excited to take you guys along with me. Towards the end, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a decent sized Sephora haul. I spent a hundred bucks. Oh, my tooth is hurting one second. I ate like this like natural candy thingy. We'll need some garlic. <laughs> yeah, so I did spend, I would say roughly around a hundred, which is not like the cheapest amount ever, but not like $600. I did pick up pretty much most of the items or all of these items were on my wish list for ages now that I kind of like put off for a while and I was like, you know what? <laughs> Let me live a bit, you know what I'm saying? So I am very excited to share with you guys all the items I picked up, but let's first go and see what the store has. They grab yourself a drink, a snack. I have this on deck at the moment, cranberry juice with water always hits home. And yeah, let's see what Sephora actually has to offer. Okay, so here's just a little bit of an overview of the items that I saw right when I walked into the store. Tons and tons of blushes and lip balms. So they had these lip sleeping masks by Laneige for $24, the watermelon one, but it was completely sold out. And then other ones that they always have in stock. They also have these brand new lip balms. I didn't even know that they carried these scents, but they have vanilla now, mango, berry. They always had sweet candy. I've never tried, but it smells so good. Um, gummy bear I do own I'm obsessed with that and then blueberry are you kidding me this is so cool these are $19 each I'm honestly so addicted to these Laneige lip balms that I did end up picking this baby up okay then I passed by the house labs blush section so these are their brand new like reformulated blushes for $32 I have like the older version which I love I haven't purchased any of these new ones just yet Kosas also came out with a bunch of new blushes which I definitely have my eye on most of the testers were not there but I did find euphoria which is like a nice nude neutral I love the packaging of this by the way and then this shade butterflies looks really really good Wallace also came out with a nice amount of cream blushes they did send me the full line I've been testing them out playing around with the shades the formula all of that $29 this is a really nice I would say kind of like satin finish but it it sets down to almost kind of like blur out your pores which I just think is really cool these are only two of the, I think, six shades that they launched. So there are four more in the line, but they weren't like up front. So obsessed with those, I would definitely recommend. Then House Labs also has these blush bombs. It's like in a stick version, basically. I don't want to spend $34 on this though. Like, come on. Where are these prices coming from? Let me know if you guys tried these. Um, from like the swatches, they feel and they look really nice and very like emollient, I would say. Okay, next we have some Say Blushes. I think that these are just new additions to their line. $25 each, three brand new shades, mostly like deeper shades. Also, Ilya just launched these brand new lip sketch hydrating crayons for $26 each though with this also I'm like what's up you know but after swatching them I'm like okay whoa these feel like insanely incredible I have such like a major smoothness to them but also I feel like they'll have a decent amount of like staying power so I don't know maybe on sale I'll pick those up tower 28 I think has one new gloss but the testers were gone so $16 for those then we have the give beauty brand this is the dew dewy plump collagen lip gels I'm gonna skip out on these by the way because I literally feel like they're gonna be a TJ for six bucks and I don't wanna spend 24, but it was an option. Uh, this is a brand new item that literally just launched if you guys were interested. Okay, then Charlotte Tilbury just launched this brand new Real Skin Stick Foundation. There are a nice amount of shades in the line. It's supposed to give you like a sheer glow, like hydrating like tint to the face. $46. I did swatch it and it, it seems really nice. I feel like especially if you have like dry skin, it seems like ultra, ultra hydrating. Okay, then Patrick Ta. I've been so curious about these major glow like cream and powder highlighters, I guess. Online, honestly, they don't look the best. And in store, it's like, okay, whatever. 
but you know once i kind of swatched this pink one you'll see soon i was like okay this is actually really pretty i don't know if i would spend 40 bucks on this you know i have i have other powders that kind of do the same but it, it does look really nice on the like hand once it's swatched i feel like in the pan it doesn't do it as much justice as you would think so we got those for 40 there's also a brush for 45 and then these are just his double take blushes which has been out for a while now um yeah this one right here actually caught my attention just enough it swatches really pretty and there's a cream plus powder this is really really nice so that's on my wish list honestly okay then i went to like the little baby section the travel size section and found a rare beauty mini liquid blush for 14. glossier just launched this new strawberry bomb.com they have a ton of different scents in their line but they just launched this beautiful shade for 14 bucks really affordable i would say for such a brand they also had the mini size of the mattifying mist by one size which i don't think i've ever seen in store they also had the In Beauty brand Get Glazed Lip Duo, if that interests you, for $25. I love their glosses. This right here by Drunk Elephant was an option as well. You get two of their like illuminating drops in smaller sizes for $38 bucks if you wanted to try those out. This is on my wish list too. I have to pick it up, the Cali Ray Primer. It looks incredible, so maybe next time. And then I also found the Dr. Dennis Gross Eye Repair Mask, which also actually is pretty affordable for, I would say, such a brand, so... It might be something I want to pick up next time as well. And then to the left, I found the, how do you say this, Jisoo, I don't know, hair oil for 25 bucks. Even though it's a smaller size, there's still a decent amount in there, I would say. Okay, here we have the Charlotte Tilbury fragrance kit. I know she just launched a bunch of perfumes, so it's a great way to test out if you were curious. I popped by the Fenty Beauty like section. This is the Hot Cheeks kind of like blush highlighter. $26 I would say they're pretty deep so if you have like a lighter skin tone I don't know if they're gonna work out for you but if you have a deeper skin tone it might be a winner they felt extremely soft uh, the packaging is very very cute and they have like a nice like luminous finish to them I think it'd be perfect for the summer okay I also popped by the rare beauty section these are not necessarily new newish but it's the first time I'm personally seeing it in store it's the soft pinch luminous powder blush for 26 and it's my first time swatching and these are so insanely gorgeous like wow i don't know i need this needed this in my life okay and then i popped by the body care section by rare beauty uh she has a decent amount of goods available so firstly the mist definitely on my radar we also have the hydrating body lotion this hand cream i'm obsessed with i have it i love it and then this is the newest one to the line it's just the rare beauty body wash so what $24 for that one okay then I pop by the Dior section they have their rosy glow blushes available at the moment the pink lilac one is the newest one that just launched it already has hard pants so it literally did not swatch you could see I don't know what's up with that but packaging is very cute so whatever hopefully it's a good one this I would say is one of the hottest items at Sephora at the moment. It's $65. It's the YSL clutch bronzer. There are six shades in the line also really nice and very smooth and I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. This also on our radar, the Way Hair and Body Mist. It smells amazing, very light, just very like beach-esque vibes. So I was happy to see that in store. Urban Decay also launched a brand new all-nighter setting spray. This is basically like the original one, but it's supposed to smell really good and just kind of be a little bit different, I guess. It has watermelon fruit extract. So if you like the all-nighter, you might like this one. This is 36, yeah. Okay, then I pop by the Josie Marin section. I think that she repackaged her body butters and her body scrubs. So her body butters are $36 each. There are, I think, four different ones in the line. We have unscented, vanilla vibes, topless tangerine, and then the fig one. And then I think that she has a corresponding scent uh, with the body scrub, so very cute i also pop by the sol de janeiro section this is 38 dollars. you get three of the little body butters if you were curious about these or you wanted to test them out or for traveling i think that's great and then these are their brand new body mist scents i did purchase all three the green one i'm not that obsessed with but i really love the carosha crush i think that's how you say it and then summer amour is also amazing those are my two favorites from the three for 30 dollars, they also have the lip comfort oils by clarins a little bit steep but i was really happy to see these i don't think i've ever seen these in store and the packaging is kind of like you get a lot in each i would say so there's that also ole henriksen recently launched these 
lip balms, I guess I could say. The red one was missing from the testers, but there's a yellow one, this pink one, and then the like more berry-ish toned one. And these are $22 each, I want to say. Everyone has been hyping that up like crazy. I also found this Littles kit by Drunk Elephant. You get three different skincare items. I'll be honest, I don't know exactly which ones, but I know that their skincare is really, really good. So you can get that for, I think, 75. I popped by the Glow Recipe section. I've never seen this specific item in store either for $35. I tried the original one, but I've never, I haven't tried this one yet. You could see there, it actually blends out really nicely and I think it would be really nice under makeup. Even more lip balms slash masks. These by Pharmacy truly are amazing. I have the Apple one and it feels like life on the lips. So there's also Kiwi, Vanilla, and Mingo. They have four different options to choose from. I would recommend if you were looking for something new. They also had this kit for 40 bucks, which basically just includes like their top sellers, the makeup removing balm, the moisturizer, lip balm, and I can't see what the other item is, but really good stuff. I've tried, I think three out of four of these and they're like cult classics okay this i want to say is a new brand crown affair i've never seen this really anywhere at sephora online or in store but it's a hair care brand that has pretty much everything and anything hair related so hair serums creams they also had like these ponytails um matte hair masks they also had like a brush that i was really wanting i put it in my cart but then i put it back because it was 70 bucks i'm not paying 70 bucks for a brush Anyway, there's that for this brand. <laughs> Necessaire has this really cute kit out now. It includes a body cream, body wash, and body serum for $35. And then if you do have blonde hair, uh, Moroccan Oil has this kit out now. It includes shampoo, conditioner, and the oil. So you can purchase that for $30 or you can just purchase the new oil on its own. I think this is $30 as well and obviously it smells incredible. Okay, I'm very excited about this one. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing um a glimpse of you know the inside of sephora so the first item i picked up which i kind of cheated a little bit here but well not really this is basically an item i picked up from super goop's website however they do do sell this at sephora so i kind of like threw it in here just to you know speak to you guys about it for a bit this is the protect tint like tinted moisturizers with spf 50. i've been really wanting this for a while and super goop Go <laughs> super good was having a sale um maybe like a few weeks ago so i picked it up in the shade 14n i did try this out twice at this point the color actually is very spot on for me the packaging is so cute so this has extremely light coverage but i do really like how it sits on the skin it's very smooth like very creamy blends out amazingly you don't really need that much. I feel like I use the same amount of this as I would use with a regular moisturizer. It's, yeah, really easy to blend out. And it sinks into the skin really nicely. I'll be honest, it almost sinks into like nothingness, but you could kind of build it up like a drop. I feel like it does somewhat even out my skin tone, not like perfectly perfect. But I kind of like that it's not perfectly perfect and I love the finish it actually gives. In the summer especially, I have a ton of freckles right here on my nose, which I personally think is literally the cutest thing ever. I'll show you guys one day. And then I have a little bit on my cheeks as well. So this I kind of feel like you could see that through. I also love the fact that it has SPF 50. I'll be honest, I'm not really like that person who constantly puts on SPF, who's always purchasing, well, who's always purchasing SPF products and who's on top of her SPF game. So this is a very helpful product for me. Okay, next up, I feel like I'm kind of like a lip balm hoarder at this point. I really just can't get enough. It's the truth and it's a problem, but Honestly, I don't really care anymore. Like, I just love lip balms. And anytime a new one comes out, I just like, there's something in me that just like, I have to it. So I'm just saying, like, I'm obsessed. So first I have this one by Glossier. This is a new one. They're strawberrybomb.com. I love their bomb.coms in general. I have two, the fig one and the mint. Obsessed. And they're only 14 bucks, which is such a great deal. They recently launched this one, which is strawberry. And come on, it's just life. It's like the best thing ever. It, honestly, if this makes me happy, like <laughs> it's just worth it. It's for that. It smells very good. Not too strong, not too light. And it's pretty much like a true reddish strawberry type of color. 
One second, I want to see. Like, <laughs> yeah. So you can kind of sheer it out. Yeah, you don't have to wear it in a way where it's so pigmented, which I personally don't like it like that. Like, here, look. I sheared it out, and you can kind of see a little hint of pinkiness, but not much, which is what I personally prefer. Especially when it comes to lip balm, I don't want to feel like I need a mirror to apply it. I just want to like put it on and not really think. Um, this smells so incredible. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have these items linked down below, by the way, just for reference. The next uh, lip balm I picked up was the Laneige Blueberry one, which I didn't know was actually a thing until I actually went to the store, and I'm like, really? I mean, I followed them on Instagram and I saw blueberry. I'm like, but I've never seen that like ever in real life life. So I didn't know if it was actually available to consumers. And then I went and saw that it actually is. So they have tons of different scents to choose from at the moment. They have vanilla, mango, berry, which they've always had, the, the gummy bear one. But I got uh, blueberry because obsessed. These are definitely more sheer, I would say. Honestly, absolutely delicious. This smells incredible. Ink credible. Okay? And it's it's like a clear. You could see right over here. Comes out um it has like a little bluish tint, but it's like clear on the lips, you know. Oh my gosh, yum. Okay, the next item I picked up was this one by the Necessaire brand. This has been on my wish list for the longest time ever, but their products are so pricey that I'm like, I'm not spending that amount on a body care product. This actually comes with a body wash, body lotion, and a body serum. So all smaller type of sizes, but I felt like this is great. And this is 35 bucks, so not the best, not the worst deal ever. But I just loved that I got three in one. I get to feel out what the products are about, see how it works out on my skin. And then if I want to commit, I could commit. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to feel like I have to right away. You know what I mean? Like, I think this is great. So this is an actually decent size. 3.4 fluid ounces for the body wash. So you kind of just like twist it up and there's a little hole over here that you could dispense the product. It smells pretty good. It actually just has like a nice clean scent. Very like spa-like maybe. Yeah, just very easy. But yeah, it's eucalyptus. That's what it smells like basically. So we got that. Then the body lotion. Also good size, 2.4 fluid ounces. This is fragrance free. But here's what it looks like. Typical cream. Seems nice. And the next item is the body serum with hyaluronic acid. Fragrance free as well. Do we really need a serum for the body though? I don't know. And it's like a pump, pump. And it's more of like a thinner, like see-through type of texture. I'm so excited, I have to say. Oh, this feels so incredible. Oh my gosh. It sinks in ultra quickly too. And it says here on the back, treat your body like your face. So <laughs> yeah, I guess maybe it might be necessary. Necessary, you know? Okay, and then the final item I picked up was a blush by Rare Beauty. And this was kind of like on my wish list, but then not, but then yeah, but then not. I really wanted to see these in store to kind of like see what it's about. Uh, so this is the Soap Pinch Blush slash like highlighter in Happy. This was like $26, I want to say. The reason why I didn't know if I wanted to pick this up or not, and I wanted to kind of see it in store, is because it has like a luminous finish. A lot of people use it as like a blush lighter, basically like a blush and a highlighter together. I don't like to do that. I just, I don't know. It really depends. But I didn't know if this was going to like emphasize texture. You guys saw from like the swatch in the store. I don't know. It was just so beautiful. It was between this shade that I wanted and like the corally one. It's stunning, you know? And I, I personally love Rare Beauty in general. So I kind of wanted to give it a go. Here's what it looks like. It seems luminous, but not like in like ultra, ultra luminous where it's going to emphasize my whole existence. So we'll have to see how it actually applies on the skin, but so far it feels amazing. It's very smooth. I was planning on maybe also using this for the eye for maybe more of like a monochromatic look and the packaging is beautiful too. It has like a matte finish. So I'm very happy about that, okay? Very, very excited. Those were all the items I picked up from Sephora. Uh, I'll have all of these items linked down below if you guys wanna pick up anything for yourselves. That's pretty much it. If there are any items that you recently picked up from Sephora that you're up. Oh, Keep me posted and I will see you all in my next video.